you're not getting anywhere with the ladies? That's probably because you're missing that crucial ingredient, sex appeal. It's what sets the twinks apart from the chads, who seem to get all of the attention. In this video, we'll be pulling back the curtain and explaining the often confusing topic of sex appeal and how you can get some for yourself. Most men can develop sex appeal. It's not about where you start, but how far you can climb. Any guy can ooze with sex appeal. It doesn't matter if you start really overweight, skinny. Sex appeal is a mix of physical attractiveness and charisma. But to get a girl to talk to you, she needs to find you attractive in the first place. Muscles equal sex appeal. Women find physically fit guys attractive. It's biology. Just like we find women with an hourglass physique irresistible on some primal level, women find men with muscular, lean physiques attractive. A healthy, muscular, and fit body is a biological indicator of perfect health, strength, and stamina. And women have used those metrics to screen for potential mates for thousands of years. Because of our modern lifestyle, most men don't have to be at their physical peak to survive, but that does not mean we can't use thousands of years of evolutionary biology for our benefit. How to build a foundation for sex appeal The V-taper is the ideal physical proportions for a man. Not only is it evidence of your strength and dedication, but it's also aesthetically pleasing. You can achieve this physique by targeting specific muscle groups. Upper back, shoulder, upper chest, traps, arms, and neck. The neck, in particular, is underrated because of how much of a difference it can make in facial attractiveness. Pull up a picture of two guys, one with a thick neck slightly wider than his jaw and another with a thin neck. You'll notice the difference immediately. That correlation between physical attractiveness and mass extends to your overall physique. A wider shoulder, thinner waist, thicker arms and upper chest are such a physical turn-on that having a mid-face won't even register. Grow a stubble. A light stubble is the perfect middle ground between a full-grown beard and a smooth-shaven face, and it looks great on nearly everybody. A smooth-shaven face makes you come across as cute and young, not handsome, and a fully-grown beard can hide physical shortcomings like a weak chin or fat face. A stubble lends you an aura of confidence, attractiveness, and mystery. It's the best of both worlds, and there's even scientific evidence to back this up. A study conducted in 2013 asked a panel of 350 women and 177 men to judge photos of 10 men at various stages of beard growth for attractiveness, masculinity, health, and parenting ability. Attractiveness peaked on the photos with men rocking the heavy stubble. However, note that the stubble might not work for every guy. If you have a scar, cannot grow a beard, or are a blonde Caucasian, stubble might be more of a curse than a blessing. It's one of those things you'll have to experiment with before settling on a certain look. Darkening your features While we're on the topic of experimenting with looks, you might want to consider darkening your eyebrows. If you have dirty or regular blonde hair, consider darkening your eyebrows and thickening them to see how much of a boost they can give you aesthetically. The boldness and contrast might highlight your features and make you even more attractive. Much like the stubble, this tip is not for everybody. However, our next one is. Deep voices are sexy. There's a lot of truth behind the stereotype that men with deeper voices are sexier. Low-pitched male voices, aka deep voices, are frequently seen as a sign of dominance and strength. And even though their physical bodies don't quite match, the perceived strength behind their voice can be quite alluring to women. Think Jason Momoa, Morgan Freeman, 50 Cent, and other musicians with a powerful baritone. Basic biology explains why women love it. Testosterone thickens the vocal cord during puberty, and so a thicker voice is typically viewed as evidence of testosterone, which helps build muscle mass and recovery and affects the male sex drive. All of these features were invaluable for the survival and propagation of the human species thousands of years ago, and they're still relevant today. Unfortunately, there's not much you can do to change the pitch of your voice forever. However, there are certain tricks and actions that you can take to make your voice come across as deeper and more worldly. Relax your neck muscles. When the sternocleidomastoid or your neck muscles tense, they tug on your vocal cord, resulting in a higher pitched voice. By relaxing them, you can achieve the opposite effect, lowering the pitch of your voice. Training your neck muscles is one of the most effective ways to achieve this. More developed neck muscles are less likely to tense up because they're strong enough to meet the physical requirements of the day. Another way to achieve this sexy, low-pitched, smooth voice is by speaking from your diaphragm instead of the lungs. As you speak, try to shift the effort downwards and let your stomach naturally tense up and your shoulders squared back. 
Age and increased testosterone can help you deepen your voice over time if you're more or less stuck with what you're born with. However, your posture is something you can significantly change about yourself over time. Good posture is attractive. Good posture is a marker of confidence, strength, and health, especially in men. After your physical features and appearance, your posture is what people notice the most about you. If you walk hunched over with your shoulder rolled in and your head tucked low, girls will assume you're ashamed, unhealthy, timid, weak, untrustworthy, and undependable. And it won't matter how much muscles you have and how deep your voice is. How you dress is how you're dressed, and if you don't carry yourself right, girls won't talk to you, much less give you their number. And this is not just speculation either. A recently published research paper showed that sitting with an expansive, space-consuming posture determined who got a second date more than physical attractiveness or any other feature. The saying confidence is attractive is a stereotype for a reason. If you hit the gym consistently, you should naturally have better posture than people who have a more sedentary lifestyle. Exercise strengthens the chest, core, and scapula area, which is essential for great posture. However, if you have a bad posture anyway or are a couch potato, you can fix your posture with flexibility and strengthening exercises that work your spine, chest, and core. You can also try simple postural changes in the mirror. Hold your shoulder blades back, tuck your stomach, push your chest forward, and keep your head looking straight ahead with your shoulders tucked back and squared. Don't expect changes to your posture overnight, but expect to see serious improvement over the next eight weeks. With your body sorted, it's time we focused on what we put on it. Fashion and style. You want to choose clothes that fit your body just right, nothing super tight or loose. You want the perfect fit every time you shop. Don't be afraid to flaunt your gains. Think about how hot girls or fit girls dress. If you have well-developed arms and chests, choose short sleeve dress shirts and polo shirts that show skin and leave the top buttons loose. Do the same for dress shirts. Basically, you want to dress more provocatively, but do it tastefully. You might also want to invest in a tailor. A lot of the time, brands don't make clothes with fit guys in mind, so you might find yourself picking clothes that don't fit you perfectly. A good tailor could help you make adjustments when needed and keep you looking fresh and confident all year round. In the end, pick whatever you think will give you the most sex appeal. If you have your basic grooming down and act on everything we discussed, you're guaranteed to get more love from the ladies and enjoy all the benefits that come with that. By the time you talk to her, half of the battle is already won. Make sure you clean up your diet by focusing on the right foods. Avoid sugars, processed foods, and deep fried junk. Instead, eat nature-made foods such as eggs, lean proteins, healthy oils, nuts, vegetables, and fruits. Meals from these foods will boost your testosterone levels and make you infinitely more attractive to women. Another key is to drink plenty of water. Try to get at least 2 liters of water per day. Water will clear your skin up, keep it healthy, and keep you looking hydrated while the body removes toxins. Adding lemons or berries to the water will detoxify your body even more and help your skin glow while adding delicious flavors. By fixing your diet and adding in healthy produce, you're giving your body a break from trying to digest poor foods. That will also boost your exercise performance even more. The more exercise you do and the better your diet, the better you will feel physically and mentally. So make this your first go-to plan for becoming irresistibly attractive. Next on our list is your voice. A deep voice shows authority and confidence, instantly capturing attention and commanding respect. While you can't change your voice's pitch, you can improve its depth and resonance through vocal exercises and proper breathing techniques. So practice speaking from your diaphragm, speak on the exhale, and release stress by breathing from your belly. Men often make the mistake of forgetting to breathe. Our minds are often occupied in the modern world and sometimes pausing to take a few deep breaths will relax you and keep you grounded in reality. Similarly, you might be breathing with your chest and not your diaphragm. Here is a test to see how you are breathing. Take a breath, and if your shoulders rise, it indicates shallow breathing into your chest. Try placing a hand on your stomach to observe its movement. Proper breathing should cause your hand to move outward as you inhale. If not, you may be breathing incorrectly, and you can quickly correct this. Whenever you remember, focus your attention on your stomach and take deep breaths throughout the day. In time, your voice will become deeper. Along with correcting your health, breathing properly and learning how to speak will make you a far more attractive man. Now, let's shift our focus to skincare. 
Taking care of your skin isn't just for women. It's about your self-care and confidence. Establishing a skincare routine for your skin type can help improve your complexion, reduce blemishes, and minimize signs of sun damage. Engage in daily cleansing by visiting your local dermatologist and determining your skin type. Once you do, you can purchase the best cleanser for your face. Next, exfoliate at least once per week and apply sunscreen if you live in very sunny cities. Taking care of your hands is also important, as dry hands with cuts will turn women off. Women want to see a well-manicured man because it shows you are hygienic and that can lead to a greater level of intimacy. Your hair is another key component of your overall look, framing your face and complementing your features. Finding the right hairstyle that suits your face shape and personal style is essential. Don't be afraid to experiment with different cuts, lengths and products until you find the perfect look that makes you feel confident and attractive. There are ways to determine your best hairstyle because you have four types, straight, wavy, curly and kinky. Let's discuss fashion. Women are known to be the ones who love fashion the most, and that means they want to see that in you. Your clothing choices play a significant role in how women perceive you and can greatly influence your attractiveness. Whether you're dressing for a casual outing, a formal event, or a day at the office, aim to dress in a way that reflects your personality and makes you feel comfortable and confident. Pay attention to fit, color coordination, and overall style to ensure that your wardrobe enhances your appeal. It never hurts to find out which type of clothes make you most comfortable and build a style around that. If you are sporty, purchase well-fitting t-shirts and sweatpants that boost your look by being tighter in the correct areas. If you are classic, make sure your attire is color coordinated by letting your outfit slow. Oftentimes, matching your shoes with your shirt color makes you look perfectly aligned. Also, make sure your clothes are clean and properly ironed. Always make sure your shoes are clean because filthy shoes show that you are not hygienic. Women will notice what clothes you wear, so make sure you do not have any stains, holes or dirt that will greatly decrease your sex appeal. If you are too used to dressing casually, start by dressing as best as you can every day. Soon, it will become a part of your lifestyle and you will look forward to showing the world your style. Last but certainly not least, let's dive into arguably the two most important parts of making you attractive, confidence and charm. Confidence isn't just about how you carry yourself physically, it will become your mindset. It's the way you walk with purpose, shoulders back, head up, radiating an aura of self-assurance. It's maintaining strong eye contact and speaking clearly with your words. It's speaking clearly and assertively and believing in yourself and your abilities even in the face of challenges. When you truly embody confidence, you exude a magnetic energy that draws women toward you like moths to a flame. But confidence alone isn't enough. Charm adds the finishing touch. Charm is about more than just surface-level charisma, it's genuine warmth and charisma. It's treating everyone you encounter with kindness and respect, regardless of their status or background. It's being especially gentle and attentive with women, showing them the utmost respect and admiration. Charm is the art of active listening, showing genuine interest in women's perspectives and making them feel valued and heard. It's about engaging in meaningful conversations, sharing your viewpoints thoughtfully and engagingly, and finding common ground with those around you. When you combine confidence with charm, you become an irresistible force of nature. Women are drawn to your magnetic presence. They will love your positivity and charm. Avoid negative speech, backbiting, and a mean mug on your face because women will notice and tend to stay away. Instead, smile more, be positive, and believe that your conversation with women will go as smoothly as possible. If you want to attract women, you must not only look the part, but act it. A woman will watch how you move, how you speak, and how you look at her. Folding your arms, speaking softly, and looking away from her shows disinterest and a lack of confidence. Rather, opening up your body, speaking clearly, and looking in her eyes will make you much more attractive. Women want to feel engaged by you, and if you accomplish that, you'll be considered charming and confident regardless of what your conversation is. Oftentimes, women want to just connect with you more than engage in groundbreaking conversation. So relax, enjoy the flow of conversation, and make her feel like she's the only one in the room. By investing time and effort into these areas, you'll look better and feel more confident around women. As you can see, developing the irresistibly attractive traits that women love is not something you're born with.
It is something you can develop. Work on these areas, make them the core of your personality, and you will soon reap the benefits. These tips are guaranteed to work, and in due time, it will become second nature to you, and you'll be surrounded by the women you want in your life.